today I would be talking about rotary switches I bought this I bought this one to put in to some man-made power supplies I had not had but have and this made me see hell I had to take out this and modify the pins so I would be trying these to see the function if they would be better than the manual rotary switch this one has 18 pins this one has four pins <clears throat> i took the clips from one of my videos to show the problem i had with this but i'm still not satisfied because there are times it would work and there are times it won't work so this is the clip from my video how i got this rotary switch to work this here when turning the switch these contacts are too close to one another so it kind of before it go to the other one you find this contact and this contact will merge which is the free volts and the 5 volts will connect together and will shut out the power supply and I bend put it in between here and bend the, con the contact or connector I brought it further apart and I file so when I turn the knob, it will float. It won't make contact, but it will float. The second bench top I did, which I will be reviewing uh, later, I tried the same thing, but while turning, it would work for a while but while turning it would still shut out so what I did with this one now if you notice this hair and that hair I crimp them and then I pull this out now this is the uh, how would I call that anyway this is the connector one side is continuous continuity which one side would be resting on this here and the outer one will be selecting so what I did is I bend this outward I bend this one inward I did it with all of them and I will be filing this portion just the outer portion i'll be filing it down so when this 
I would call it a brush. When this brushes over that, when it reach here, since it's already here, when it reach there to go on to the other one, it will float. And when it reach the high end, it will make contact. But when it leave this one here, it will be floating when it reach about this in this area where it's bend it will be floating until it reach the high end of this one then it will continue it will float here and make contact there so that means when it reach here it will disconnect from this one which is the the free volt and it will make contact with a 5 volt. It will float again, disconnect from the 5 volt, and make contact with the 12 volt. This one, I leave it blank, which means when I reach here, the system goes off. If you don't do that, that means your power supply, anytime you turn the knob, your power supply will be shutting down i haven't tested these yet but i will be doing it shortly just take out one of the rotary switches from one of the power supplies that i made which has this one and i would put either this one or that one in it to see if it will function much better than this if you find this video was informative please like comment subscribe click on the bell icon to be notified of further videos in some of my videos my viewers and subscribers are thanking me for a job well done i would appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel and give me the thumbs up it would help the channel go a long way thank you until the next one goodbye